is end up causing problems because the horse gets tired. Yeah. But also, I don't want to know she's tired. You know, at the end of the day, when I'm, she works until we're finished with her, not, or well, it's getting, people say, oh, it's tired because they've let it drop behind the leg and actually it's decided it doesn't really want to work. You know, when I was a kid and went to school, I got tired and decided I didn't want to go some days, but I still had to go. So they actually still have to, so, so, that's why it's important not to overdo it, to make sure, yes, they do everything correctly when we want them to, but not to push it too far that you are, they're making mistakes because physically they're getting, they're getting tired. You know, don't forget, you know, they are young horses like kids. You know, kids are quite capable of going and go, playing a game of football one day and doing perhaps a lot more than we are because they're, you know, they're still supple and they're still soft and stuff like that. So. You know, there's no harm if in a day when you think they're particularly fresh or whatever that you say, right, I've got to do 20 minutes, it's only four, that's it. You know, she's five in a minute. So basically if there's a day where something takes a bit longer to do, then she can take a bit longer. I mean, with her, we probably she'd probably be in the school four days out of seven and she'd hack up the road the other days. Perhaps I might have one day off when we, she'd go on the walker depending on how busy we are, but yes, I prefer if we had enough people that they'd hack out on those days. How many times a week would you do something like this? Would you jump her and take her through her? At the moment, it would be, you know, I was in Oslo on the weekend, so um, normally on a, on a one day we'll jump a course with them. So on a, on a, on a Monday, normally I'm loose jumping three-year-olds on a Tuesday, and these are, so, you know, just work them the day before on the flat and then we'll jump them tomorrow and jump them around the course. Tomorrow, uh, these are gonna go on the lorry and, and we're gonna put a course out of the other yard and we shall, um, so they'll go on the lorry. So normally I wouldn't have jumped her today. I'd have taken her up and, and sent, she'd have sent some different fillers, trotted around somewhere different. You know, half the thing with, with young horses like kids, it's important that they, um, they learn, you know, we, you, you're, um, they learn to be, uh, uh, learn patience, you know, it's like kids who stand in the lorry and they want to kick the lorry and play the, and actually it's really good for them, like the first day we bring in they have to go on the walker and they have to go the speed we want them to do rather than running one way or the other way. So, um, you know, you can see there, Spen, although he's finished, he's still asking her to walk, you know, he's not letting her slop along and go in a, you know, walk like a drunk, but she goes left or right, she's got to learn to walk in a straight line. And by that, she's got to stay in front of the leg. So it's still, even little things like, just, just, just stop then, Sven. Then walk. You can see there, Sven needs to repeat that because she actually, she didn't, you know, it took two seconds that she said, oh, what, what do I need? Loads of those things in walk that you can actually, when you're walking in and off, you can teach him, just stop again and then walk you know still she had that hesitation I actually wanted to to actually understand from Spence body language nearly before he even puts leg on her then just keep repeating that until she steps off when you want her to so then a lot better but that's the sort of thing when you're walking them off that you that loads of those transitions whether it's Kenta you saw in the transition before you know she got the hang of what Spen wanted to strike off right you can see she prefers to strike off left and she she preferred to land left but a lot of that is strength and straightness and she's probably a little bit stiffer in the right hand isn't she so she's all the time thinking oh I'll, I'll go left so she's got to learn you know that's what I said to spend on that right rein that he actually that she understands it's not going to be a pull to go right so she runs away from it it's actually a softness I mean you can see she's mouthed up nicely she's starting to understand to enjoy having a bit in the mouth rather than it being oh somebody's going to pull me in the mouth